All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a Chicago Bulls trade video idea. I want to talk about two candidates that the Chicago Bulls should at least look into towards the trade deadline, or I guess starting now, the trade deadline is literally a month away. Before we get into this video, if you guys enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely freezing here in Chicago, but us Bulls fans, we are very excited. We have won nine straight basketball games. We're sitting at 26 and 10. We haven't won nine straight games since 2010-2011 season with Derrick Rose, Carlos Boozer, um, Joaquin Noah. We go for 10 straight by tonight against the Dallas Mavericks, who might be without Luka Doncic. So if you guys like Bulls content, you like daily NBA, and NBA content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers at some point in the year. So appreciate every like, every comment for the algorithm. Let's get into the video. Now, my thoughts on the Chicago Bulls at the trade deadline is they might have to get rid of Kobe White. They might have to get rid of Kobe White. And the way Kobe White has been playing recently, everything that Kobe White has gone through since the Chicago Bulls drafted him a couple of years ago, it makes it really difficult. Kobe White has literally almost single-handedly won us some basketball games during this win streak. He's been a huge reason for just about every win so far on this win streak. So trading away Kobe White, it's not something I'm all that keen on. Maybe, just maybe, the Bulls could get away with like a first round pick and Derrick Jones Jr. instead, but the team that I think we should target are the Portland Trailblazers. The Portland Trailblazers are absolutely suffering this season. They only won two games in the month of December. I feel like they're going to be huge sellers at the deadline. I just don't see that roster with Damian Lillard working out. I don't know if Damian Lillard will, will get traded, but what I do think is I do think that they will become sellers at the deadline. And the Chicago Bulls have two guys that they should pinpoint on that team because hopefully they're a little desperate for first round draft picks or young talent. So the two guys are Robert Covington and then Larry Nance Jr. Mainly the, the reason for both of these two guys that I'm looking at is rebounding and defense. Obviously, I would love some more three-point shooting on the Chicago Bulls team, but I think that's something that they could get away with either in the buyout market, maybe even free agency. Three-point shooting doesn't seem to be a huge issue right now for me on the Chicago Bulls team, but what is is that we rank number 27th in the NBA in total rebounding. And to me, that's going to be a problem come playoff team come playoff time. I feel like the Chicago Bulls were a little bit small and there's no issue with that, but it might come to hurt you against teams like the Cleveland Cavaliers come playoff time. I would absolutely hate to play the Cavs the first round of the playoffs. They have some big bodies there, but the Bulls kind of struggle against big bodied teams like the Cleveland Cavaliers. And so I look at Larry Nance Jr. who's averaging six rebounds per game. I look at Robert Covington who's averaging five rebounds per game, only about seven points. Robert Covington's kind of like your prototypical three and D player in the NFL. The only issue is this year, he's only shooting 34% from downtown, but that is very serviceable. I think that's very serviceable. And if he were to come to Chicago, his role would, I think, be somehow even smaller than it is in Portland right now. I guess they just took him to the bench, but he still like closes out a majority of games. He still gets 30 minutes. But my favorite part about Robert Covington, first off, is that I think he, especially expiring contract, I feel like he should be cheaper out of the two. Larry Nance Jr. is a little bit younger. He's still only 29. Larry Nance Jr. is a very promising player. The Portland Trailblazers also just recently kind of traded for him. So looking at Robert Covington, he's actually averaged at least 1.3 steals and at least 1.2 blocks in each of his last four seasons. So if he's giving us five rebounds per game, if he's given us a steal per game, and he's given us a block per game, and maybe even just one three, I feel like that's a win. I really feel like that is a win. But like I said, I don't think the Chicago Bulls are desperate to make a move. So when talking about what are we going to give up, I'm hoping Derrick Jones Jr. in a first round draft pick for a guy like Robert Covington. I feel like honestly that would get the job done. But like I said, the Bulls might have to put themselves in a position to trade either Kobe White and or Patrick Williams. Now, personally, I think Patrick Williams is going to mold himself into a Kawhi Leonard-esque player, maybe even like a Scotty Barnes-esque level player, although his passing might just be a little too good. But Patrick Williams, I feel like last season, 
he wasn't aggressive. He wasn't as aggressive as we would have liked to see, but he still shot 40% from downtown. He guarded some really great basketball players, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo. The Bulls put Patrick Williams in a spot last year where he was probably really uncomfortable. He's a very young player and he was having some crazy defensive assignments, but he lived up to it. He is a hell of a defender, and I think Patrick Williams offers me a little bit more upside than Kobe White, so I think I would rather trade Kobe White if we had to, if we had to. I don't know if it's my Bulls, I don't know if it's like my Bulls brain saying, I don't want to trade Kobe White, I don't want to trade Patrick Williams, but at the end of the day, we might have to, but at the very least, I could definitely see the Chicago Bulls trying to make something happen with Derrick Jones Jr. in a first round draft pick. They're probably going to have to get a third team involved in whatever trade they decide to do just because of salaries. I don't think that should scare them, but that's really it for today, guys. I, I just really like both with Larry Nance Jr. and Robert Covington, I like what they bring rebounding the ball wise, and then I like what they, I just love what they bring on the defensive end. And they both, you know, Larry Nance only shooting 31% from downtown, but they still can make threes. They can still make threes, but like I said, threes aren't as big of an issue for me with this Bulls team. That's it for today, guys. Go ahead, enjoy your Sunday. I know the Chicago Bears are beating on the Minnesota Vikings right now. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If we could find a way to get this video to 25 likes, that would be awesome. But as always, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.